All right, this one has to qualify as being the classiest paint finish of any car in the show. Check it out. There's Storm and Norman Schwarzkopf, I believe. Colin Powell just under the uh, key for the door. Lyndon Baines Johnson, JFK, and Richard Nixon. Wow, never seen them on a door before. That looks like Randolph Scott. I'm pretty sure I've seen some Marine Corps film with that one on it. There's that famous sailor and who was unknown and the famous nurse who was unknown. Yeah, I, that is, that's an eagle with an uncompromising expression on his face. And that there's talons right there. I do like the Iwo Jima motif on the hood. Although it needs Robert E. Lee or Ulysses S. Grant somewhere, I think. Here's a tank. Here's Eisenhower giving a briefing on D-Day, I imagine. Doesn't get much more American than this. Oh, Rosie the Riveter on the quarter panel. Yes, indeed. Here she is with her sandwich. Check it out. A Mustang, unless I'm greatly mistaken. There's a guy telling you to shift. Oh, we're in the Civil War part. Oh, here we go, the Civil War section. The Civil War, the boys in blue and the boys in gray. Yeah, Teddy Roosevelt's looking at the Civil War being fought. Let's see, and there's Don Tracy and uh, Chris Olson. There I am in the foreground with a goatee. Uh, old Ironsides, perhaps, I don't know. Here's a, a We the People Evil. Washington making the crossing of the Delaware. Egad. Egad. American pride. And here we have a whole bunch of ghosts saying hello to a uh, soldier at Arlington. Robert E. Lee makes a appearance through his house. There it is. The American pride. It's up, it's up, it's up. The American Pride Camaro makes me proud to be American. <laughs>